So, wanted to wrap a little bit. Uh, I've cooled down a little bit now. I uh, wanted to uh, wrap a little bit about... Um, I wanted to make this video for a minute uh, now. And, um, I mean, this is really truly the 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 part two, if you like, to uh, the other video. The, well, the kind of the series, I guess the part three, really. Uh, kind of a series of videos... Um, the robbery of intent and context of language, uh, the function of humor, and now this, which is really expound, expanding upon that first one, which is it's not just the robbery of intent and context of language. If only it were that simple, boys and girls. No, 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 no. This is the robbery of language itself that's happening today with the cultural Marxists, with the statists. The robbery of language itself. Words are literally being redefined in the dictionary. Fascism is now defined as right as as right wing in the dictionary. When the original word had no connotations of, of an either left or right. And I mean, frankly, um, there have been plenty of people who have argued, and I definitely tend tend towards this uh, more than anything uh, is that all of these collectivist thoughts are very clearly you don't have to call it left or right if you don't want to if that makes you uncomfortable makes you a little bit scared a little bit nervous you can call it up and down you can call it here and there you can call it you know back and forth whatever the f <laughs> you don't have to call it left and right if that offends your delicate sensibilities um, but all these collectivist statist thoughts are very clearly on one side of things and freedom is very clearly on another side of things uh, I'm pretty sure I've said this in, a, in a, another video before but saying that fascism and communism are polar opposites because of a bitch that they have is like saying that the Shiites and the Sunnis are polar opposites or that Catholics and Protestants are polar opposites, or that within Protestantism and within Catholicism, for that matter, that those individual sects are polar opposites. They're not polar opposites. They're pretty much pretty well aligned with each other in as much as they all believe in the state, the power of the state. They all believe in, if you are doing something I don't fucking like, I'm going to run to the state and they're going to come and take you away. And what we're seeing here is we're, we're manufacturing because in America we don't have, I mean, we're increasingly getting an all-powerful state. Let's not kid ourselves, boys and girls. Um, but what we're seeing increasingly ever since 2012, really, um, is okay the state is not big enough the state is not working enough so we're going to create a mob and that's going to be the state the para state <laughs> the para yeah the para state uh, and so they create their own justice and it makes no fucking sense like I said in my last video you have children being raped and the mob is upset about statues. Just let that sink in for a second. Now, I'm not saying that... I, I do want to be very clear about this. I'm not saying that, that people who are upset about statues aren't upset about people who are... Uh, about sex trafficking and, and human trafficking and child sex slaves and things like that. I'm, I'm not saying that. What I am saying, however, is that one, child sex trafficking is undeniably, inarguably, objectively, a disgusting, immoral, violent, just demonic, whatever, just most disgusting word you want to use to put on it, thing. And the other, a statue, 
is an inanimate object that stands there like this or, you know, whatever its fucking pose is and gets shit on by pigeons. And so what I'm saying is, why, why, why would you even be upset about statues when you look and think about a child being fucking raped and sold into slavery? That's what I'm getting at. Anyways. But we're, we're robbing, um, we're, we're, we're taking away language. The word racist has, has been redefined. The word racist, racism, these ideas have been redefined so that anyone with not white skin cannot be racist. You know, you want to know what racism is, ladies and germs, boys and girls? Racism is a human quantification, a human manifestation of the natural state of all animals. What I mean by that is the natural wariness that all beings in this natural universe have <clears throat> of an other. And I do mean just that, a natural wariness. And that's what they're taking now as racism, is if you look at someone, if you acknowledge someone's presence, suddenly you're a racist. And then they say, even if you don't acknowledge someone, you know, if you acknowledge someone's skin color, you're a racist. Now, if you don't acknowledge someone's skin color, you're a racist. So all it is is just white hatred, just propaganda. Um, I did want to make a note on that. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's a it's a human manifestation or a, a human labeling of the natural state of all beings of all animals. The zebra is naturally wary of the tiger. Now, the zebra doesn't, you know, have the faculties or, or consciousness to commit mass genocide on the tiger or vice versa. Human beings are the only ones who do that. And that, I want to be very clear, is definitely abnormal and immoral. But it's not immoral to think those things. I, mean, I think it's stupid to think those things. I think it's unfortunate to think those things. I really do. But until hands are laid on people, all your stupid, ignorant ideas and words are just ignorant ideas and words and unfortunate ideas and words. They're not harming anyone. And the best way to uh, expel these unfortunate ideas and words, to eradicate them, is to talk about them, is to question them, examine them. If you silence them, if you take them away, or, or, or push them away, you're not taking them away, they're still there. Um... I've strayed a little bit from the topic, but, um, and further, this is what I was getting at, further, we've robbed people of their own identity because of this group think where, um, I heard it on the radio, I think it was something, I think the phrase used was value combinations. So the narrative now is like, oh, well, if you support police, then you must support all police, even when they act immorally. And it's like, no, 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 stop being a fucking mentally ill person. And that, that is what it is. It is it is mental illness. Your, your uh, inability to make distinctions, to differentiate, to see gray, to see middle. Everything is black and everything's white. All cops are all good or, or, or all cops are all bad. But we're stealing language now. And only white people can be racist when that's not what racism is. Racism is a capability that everyone has. Everyone has the capability 
to think that they are inherently better than someone because of their skin color. That's what racism is, is you think that you're inherently better solely because of your skin, your white skin, your black skin, your brown skin, your yellow skin, your orange, green, purple, red skin. That somehow the skin you were born with, the genetic lottery you won, makes you a more moral person, makes you more likely to be a rich person, uh, makes you a sexier person than anyone else. That's what racism is. But by robbing us of language and saying, no, that's not true, <laughs> then you can do just about anything. Then you can do just about anything. If they can change the bio, if they can, excuse me, change or attempt to change the biological definition of a man and a woman when your chromosomes are still the same by the way then they can do anything anyways um, that's all for now um, I'm probably gonna go to sleep I need to be hunting for another job but I'm tired uh, on another note definitely support me on patreon otherwise I'm gonna have to move out of my apartment and that would really fucking blow uh, <laughs> until the next video, speak, listen, understand, be respectful, don't throw rocks, don't bash people's heads in with bricks, don't run people over with cars, and all the rest of it. Say anything you want, I prefer you speak nicely and flowerly and lovingly to everyone, but I also live in reality, and know that that's not always possible, nor can it be, nor should it be. But don't put your hands on anyone. That's all. I, this is a very radical idea now. Just very sad. But anyways, uh, until next time, speak, listen, understand.